people have never thought that dogs could smell molecules that relates to cancer. And recent studies shows that they can. Previous research, some here in Philadelphia, has shown dogs can detect ovarian cancer through smell. And now in a new study, canines have been able to smell certain odors in the urine of prostate cancer patients. That has researchers working to replicate the process and develop an early screening method. So our big question is to see what dogs are smelling. This research team has identified some molecules linked to the smell, so now they'll be using the dogs to help test their theory. They eventually hope to build a sensor that works like a pregnancy test for prostate cancer. You can do the test in the clinic. You can do the test at home. And, you know, the same-day results and same-day discussion with your doctor. Chemists at the Monell Center in Philadelphia say skin cancer gives off a specific odor profile. Humans can't smell it, but research has shown dogs can sniff out the disease. With this in mind, scientists developed a computer program to detect differences in skin odor. In a new study, they took air samples from people with and without skin cancer and found the machine could accurately diagnose the disease. The fact that we were able to see significant differences in certain chemicals and say, yes, these are biomarkers related to skin cancer is just really, really exciting to us. We may not have a dog scan as opposed to a cat scan, but we will have an electronic nose, hopefully, uh, developed to sense all the samples. Many of us worry about spotting the early signs of cancer in ourselves or our loved ones, so we can treat it early and embrace a healthier life. But how? That's something few people truly understand. The surprising answer lies in your body odor. This often overlooked aspect of our bodies can sometimes reveal early signs of cancer. From a sudden sweet scent to an unusual metallic tang, subtle changes in how you or your loved one smell could be warning signals for something serious. But exactly what kind of change indicates what kind of cancer? And how can these changes in body odor help us detect cancer earlier than ever before? In this video, we're uncovering eight surprising cancer-related smells what they mean, why they matter, and how groundbreaking research is using scent to revolutionize healthcare. Number 10. The sweet, fruity odor. Possible sign of lung cancer. Let's start with a strange but true story. Some people with lung cancer have been found to give off a sweet, fruity smell. Imagine picking up on that scent in someone's breath or sweat. It's not from candy or perfume, but from something happening deep inside their body. Our bodies release tiny particles into the air all the time. These particles, called volatile organic compounds (VOCs), are too small to see or feel, but they carry information about our health. In people with lung cancer, these particles change. Imagine you're walking by someone and catch a strange, sweet, fruity smell in the air. It's unusual for anyone's body odor, and it's not a pleasant scent either. Instead, this smell could signal that something's wrong inside someone's body, specifically their lungs. Now this isn't just a weird coincidence. Scientists have found that certain VOCs produced by tumors can cause the fruity smell. If you notice a smell like this, it could mean the cancer is starting to grow, and catching it early is critically important. Lung cancer is often found too late, which makes it much harder to treat. If people paid more attention to early signs like a strange body odor, they might catch lung cancer earlier, which could save lives. It's important to know that this sweet smell isn't something everyone with lung cancer will have, but it's definitely something to be aware of. Sadly, lung cancer kills more people than any other type of cancer, and many of these deaths happen because early signs are missed. If you or someone you know starts noticing a fruity scent, don't waste time, get checked. However, it's also worth noting that not all sweet-smelling body odors are linked to lung cancer. They could indicate other issues as well. Number 9. Sour or vinegar-like sweat. Potential indicator of breast cancer. Suppose you're hanging out with a friend, and they suddenly start to smell a little different. Sweet, but not like fruit. Instead, it's more like a sour or vinegar-like smell. It might not stand out right away, but if it happens often, it could be a sign that something's wrong, even though body odor isn't the first thing people think about when they discuss illness. For some women, this sour smell can occur when their body starts undergoing changes due to breast cancer. It's not just a random change. 
It's something the body does when it's fighting or dealing with cancerous cells. These changes can make your sweat smell different because of how your body reacts to the cancer. When cancer cells grow, they disrupt the normal balance of your body, including hormones. Hormones are chemicals that control many processes in your body. These disruptions can make your body produce sweat that smells different, like vinegar, which might be more noticeable in your armpits or other areas where you sweat. It's important not to ignore these small signs. Just like how regular checkups with a doctor are essential, self-checks for breast health are equally vital. The earlier breast cancer is detected, the better the chances of effective treatment. In fact, when breast cancer is found early, survival rates can be as high as 99%. If you notice any changes, even something small like an unusual smell, it's a good idea to share your concern with a doctor and get checked. It could save your life. Number eight, persistent bad breath, halitosis. Possible stomach cancer indicator. Imagine brushing your teeth every morning and night using mouthwash and chewing gum, but still, your breath smells terrible. You might think it's just a bad day, but if this keeps happening for a long time, it could be trying to tell you something much more serious than just needing a stronger mint. Some doctors believe that persistent bad breath might actually be a sign of something like stomach or esophageal cancer. One of the main reasons for this is a bacteria called Helicobacter pylori, H. pylori, which can hide in your stomach and cause all kinds of problems. This bacteria doesn't just mess with your stomach, it also gives off a weird, bad smell that could be the reason your breath stinks, even if you've done everything to freshen it up. In fact, H. pylori is known to be one of the biggest culprits behind stomach cancer, which is one of the hardest cancers to spot in the early stages, because it doesn't always have obvious signs. It's not just this bacteria that can cause bad breath, though. Other digestive problems, like acid reflux or issues with your esophagus, can lead to a similar kind of smell. These issues might be making your stomach or digestion work differently, and you might not even realize it. Shockingly, studies show that about 30% of people with chronic bad breath may have an underlying health issue that's unrelated to food or poor oral hygiene. So, if your bad breath keeps coming back, don't just ignore it or try to cover it up with gum. Get it checked out by a doctor. Number seven, musty or moldy body odor, linked to liver disease and cancer. What happens if your liver starts malfunctioning? Well, it can cause some pretty strange things to happen to your body, like a musty, moldy smell. This smell is actually a warning sign that something could be seriously wrong with your liver. The liver's main job is to filter out harmful substances like toxins, waste, alcohol, or medications. But if the liver isn't working properly, waste starts to build up in the body, and it can come out in unusual ways. Instead of being processed normally, toxins may leak out through your breath or skin, causing a musty, moldy odor, or even something that smells like decaying matter. When the liver is struggling, it's not just about the smell. Other symptoms might show up too, such as yellowing of the skin or eyes, jaundice, extreme fatigue, or abdominal pain. In severe cases, this can lead to liver cancer, a particularly dangerous form of cancer. Did you know that liver disease is one of the leading causes of death worldwide? It's especially alarming because liver failure or disease often goes undetected until it's too late. If you notice a musty smell or any of these other symptoms, it's important to consult a doctor right away. Early detection can make all the difference. Number six, metallic or copper-like smell associated with blood cancers. Sometimes you might notice a strange metallic smell that seems to come from nowhere. This unusual scent could be linked to serious health problems like blood cancers, specifically leukemia and lymphoma. Here's how it works. Our blood contains a lot of iron, which gives it its metallic taste and smell. If something goes wrong with your blood cells, like in leukemia or lymphoma, it can disrupt the balance of iron. This imbalance can make your body give off a metallic scent, similar to the smell you might get from handling coins. But the smell alone isn't enough to confirm something is wrong. Blood cancers often come with other symptoms, such as unexplained fatigue, frequent bruising, rapid weight loss, fevers, and night sweats. These symptoms, combined with a metallic smell, can be clues that your blood is not functioning properly. 
If you pick up on this metallic scent or notice any of these accompanying symptoms, don't ignore them. Schedule an appointment with your doctor to investigate further. Early detection of blood cancers can greatly improve survival rates, and paying attention to small changes like this could make a big difference. Number 5. Rotten or Foul-Smelling Gas – Possible Colorectal Cancer Indicator Your gut is often a strong indicator of your overall health, sometimes in unexpected ways. One key thing to watch out for is foul-smelling gas. While occasional gas is normal, if it starts smelling unusually bad over an extended period, it could be a sign of something serious like colorectal cancer. Inside your gut, there are billions of bacteria that help digest food and maintain balance. However, when colorectal cancer develops, it can alter the bacterial environment in your gut. These changes can lead to gas that smells much worse than usual. Additionally, your diet plays a major role. A diet high in processed foods and low in fiber can encourage the growth of harmful bacteria creating an environment that supports cancer development and contributes to the bad odor. Keep in mind though, that not every episode of smelly gas is a sign of cancer. But if it becomes persistent and is accompanied by other symptoms like stomach pain, unexplained weight loss, changes in bowel habits, or blood in your stool, it's time to take it seriously. Listening to your body and identifying unusual signs like this could lead to early detection of colorectal cancer making it much easier to treat and potentially saving your life. Number 4. Unexplained fishy smell could indicate cervical or ovarian cancer. Sometimes, your body might give off a persistent fishy smell that doesn't go away. This unusual and often unpleasant odor can be a sign of an underlying health problem, including certain types of cancer. While infections are the more common reason for a fishy smell, some cancers, such as cervical or ovarian cancer, can also cause significant changes in body odor. These cancers can disrupt the natural bacterial balance in the body, leading to unusual smells. For instance, cervical cancer can lead to abnormal vaginal discharge, which may emit a strong, fishy smell. This happens because cancerous changes in the cervix can create an environment that encourages bacterial overgrowth. Similarly, ovarian cancer, though less commonly associated with this odor, can affect the body in ways that may alter its scent. It's important to note that not all vaginal odors indicate cancer. Many are caused by infections, such as bacterial vaginosis, which can produce a similar smell. However, if the odor persists despite proper hygiene, or is accompanied by other symptoms, such as pelvic pain, abnormal bleeding, or changes in discharge, it's essential to consult a doctor. Shockingly, research suggests that one in four women experiencing persistent, unusual vaginal odors may be dealing with a more serious condition, including cancer. While it's not always cancer, it's critical to seek medical advice early to rule out serious concerns. Number 3. Ammonia-like smell – linked to kidney or bladder cancer Have you ever noticed a strong ammonia-like smell in your sweat or urine? While this could simply be linked to dehydration or certain foods, it can sometimes indicate something more serious, such as kidney or bladder cancer. Our kidneys are responsible for filtering waste products from the blood, and when they aren't working properly, waste can build up in the body. This can lead to the release of excess nitrogen, which gives off a strong, ammonia-like odor in sweat or urine. Bladder cancer, on the other hand, can alter the way waste is processed and expelled from the body, resulting in a similar smell. In healthy individuals, the kidneys efficiently remove toxins and sweat or urine smells relatively normal. However, when kidney function declines or is compromised by cancer, waste products linger in the body longer, leading to noticeable changes in odor. If this ammonia-like smell persists for several days and is accompanied by other symptoms, such as fatigue, weight loss, changes in urination patterns, blood in the urine, or pain in the lower back, it's time to seek medical advice. Doctors emphasize that early detection of kidney or bladder cancer can significantly improve outcomes. Ignoring persistent changes in body odor or related symptoms could delay diagnosis and treatment, so it's better to get checked sooner rather than later. Number 2. How dogs and AI are detecting cancer through smell The human nose has its limits when it comes to detecting subtle changes in body odor. But dogs are an entirely different story. 
Incredibly, some dogs can sniff out cancer in people by detecting changes in the scent of their breath, sweat, or skin. Trained dogs have shown remarkable accuracy in identifying certain cancers, including lung, breast, and ovarian cancer, even in the early stages. These dogs can sense the presence of cancer by detecting volatile organic compounds, VOCs, released by tumors. In some cases, their accuracy rivals or even exceeds that of current medical tests. But the innovation doesn't stop there. Scientists are now developing electronic noses, machines designed to mimic the incredible olfactory abilities of dogs. These devices can analyze the smell of breath or other body emissions to detect the presence of cancer. Early studies show that these devices are highly effective and could revolutionize cancer detection in the future. This approach has the potential to eliminate the need for invasive procedures. Imagine being able to detect cancer through a simple breath or sweat test, saving patients time, money, and discomfort. Research also suggests that early detection through these methods could increase survival rates by over 90%. The combination of trained dogs and cutting-edge technology holds enormous promise for the future of cancer detection. By focusing on subtle changes in body odor, we're entering a new era of healthcare where early diagnosis can save countless lives. Number 1. When to see a doctor. About unexplained changes in body odor. Your body often gives you clues that something isn't quite right, and one of those clues can be a sudden or persistent change in body odor. While not every strange smell indicates cancer, it's important to pay attention if the change is unusual and doesn't go away after a few days. There are several conditions, aside from cancer, that can affect body odor. For example, diabetes can cause a fruity or acetone-like smell due to the way the body processes sugar. Similarly, infections can produce strong odors as a result of bacterial activity. Even problems with your metabolism or hormone imbalances can lead to noticeable changes in smell. However, if you notice a persistent and unexplained odor, such as a metallic, musty, or ammonia-like smell that doesn't improve with proper hygiene or dietary adjustments, it's time to see a doctor. These small changes can be early warning signs of underlying health problems, including cancer. Health experts stress the importance of early detection. Strange smells may seem minor, but they can provide valuable clues to doctors and lead to a diagnosis before the condition worsens. So, if something feels off, whether it's an unusual smell or other subtle symptoms, don't ignore it. Consulting a doctor could lead to an early diagnosis, making treatment more effective and potentially saving your life. Your body speaks to you in many ways, and sometimes it does so through smell. Could these scents be warnings? Early detection can truly save lives. Have you noticed any strange changes in body odor or know someone who has? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more crucial health tips. See you soon.